Hello everyone, I am Sukriti and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see in the background, right now I am at Church Street. In Bengaluru, I am at the most happening place that is Church Street MG Road. I know most of the people have been here and this is the most liveliest place. I'll be taking you guys with me to explore the streets of Church Street, Brigade Road, MG Road and I'll be taking you to UB City as well. This is the place which is most happening in Bengaluru and on weekend it's completely filled with people, people and people. Church Street is the first walking street of Bangalore and it is located in the heart of the city that is the central business area of Bangalore. Church Street, MG Road, Brigade Road, all these places are so lively in weekend. So I have come here to explore all the places and I'll be taking you. All the streets are neighboring streets and now let's start exploring Church Street. Right now I'm in third wave coffee to grab some coffee. I was feeling to have something like French uh, food so I just came to third wave coffee with my friend who is a lot of camera shy so I'll be alone in the video again uh, <laughs> I'm used to it so yeah The ambience of this place is pretty cool and it's in the shades of gold and brown and in this place there is a good collection of books as well and the book lover inside me is willing to take some books. Let's go and get one. After some good time here, we'll be heading out to explore the state, so come along with me and explore. And the one thing which is currently favorite of many people in Church Street is these customizable bracelets. And here you can find a very cute and good collection. I'll be taking you along with me for some shopping. This place is truly a paradise for all the shopping lovers, especially for the people who love window shopping. And even Church Street is a very good place for all the people who love reading books. For the book lovers, there are a lot of bookstores here and one you can see is the Blossom Book House, there somewhere behind me. And now let's go there and see what it's in there. This place is completely filled with books and you can get every kind of books here. Be it fictional, non-fictional, mythological or something academic, every books are available. And here there is a good collection of stickers as well. The beauty of this place is that every corner here in Church Street looks so artistry. Right now I am at Chowa Mall. If you guys have seen on Instagram, probably you'll be knowing that flower kind of ice cream that that is available in Milano. Actually, I wanted to try that, but unfortunately, that's not available on weekends. So, I got myself a cup of ice cream and I'll be chit-chatting with my friend and we'll be enjoying the time right now. While walking across the street, I was thinking generally if you guys see Instagram probably you'll be knowing in Church Street there few members come, they do interview, they take pictures, all kind of things. I was thinking why don't people approach me? <laughs> and it happened today. A person came and he approached me <laughs> to take a video and I was so happy and I did it. I'll be adding that small clipping in this video <laughs> you guys can see. 
and one more thing uh, currently i am on instagram as well and i will be mentioning you the handle here do follow me on instagram to get updated there i generally don't do this kind of chit chat thing on video but this time i thought i need to do which is a kind of different thing for me but uh, right now i'm enjoying and i wanted to update you guys just walking through the streets feels uh, kind of different the vibe here is totally different and uh, it's completely filled with teenagers and early 20 people uh, who are just enjoying their time and uh, i heard that the night life is very good here so i'll be showing you the day life as well as the night life Last time when I came to Church Street, I was not confident enough to talk in video. But right now I'm talking in video. I'm being spontaneous while talking, which feels so happy. And I'm I'm kind of proud of myself to be honest. And now let's head towards the M G Road. M G Road, Bangalore is a kind of mix of everything, right from local to global. Everything is available here, and there is a mix of outlet, and that is what it's famous for. According to a survey, M G Road has been ranked as number one high street road in our country. There is no doubt because from small stalls to huge showrooms, you can find everything in this street. And to every girls out there. please do not wear those long long heels which you wear it's very uncomfortable to walk so if you want to come better opt for flats because there's a lot of walking in the streets and now let's head towards the ub city mall which is known to be one of the poshest malls there is a lot of greenery here and This place is super windy as you can see and in front of me there's a huge skyscraper I'll show you guys Right now I'm at one of the most poshest malls of Bangalore Here it is Okay It's none other than the UB City Mall. This mall is known to have many Indian as well as international fashion brands like Louis Vuitton, Coach, Michael Kors, Burberry and many more. And this is how the entrance of this mall looks like. Now let's go upstairs and see what it's in there. This right here you are seeing is the UB Tower which is inside the UB City Mall. There are four such towers in this place and right here you see is the drone shot of the Kingfisher Tower and it has the most expensive sky mansion on the top floor. The nightlife is starting now. Everything here just looks so posh and it's so beautiful. I'm just feeling like I'm at some foreign place or something, but it's Namma Bengaluru. UB City Mall in Bangalore is known to be the popular destination for both business professionals as well as for the visitors because with all the outlets of luxury brands, even there is fine dining area here. Not just that. Even there's an amphitheater where many of the events takes place. Also, it's a nice area to sit and chill with a good company. With a nice background here, you can click a lot of good pictures. Cute. Why is he all pasta? Sakat ke dalwa. There is 
a teddy bear that's the walking teddy bear which is so cute and it waved at me i think i can capture it in the video let me see Deepavali decor here. Let me show you guys. Here it is. It's the background. I mean, it's from the back side. I'll go front and I'll show you. And this is the Deepavali decor that I was talking about. Honestly, it's been such a nice place. The two three hours here feels like ten fifteen minutes. The vibe here is such a cool vibe, and visiting this place on weekend is the best. The color palette of this mall is good as it's in the shades of beige and brown. and this is how the outside looks like during night time when all the lights are lit up it's really so beautiful to see and now let's head back towards the church street to see how the night life looks there some live program is going on here it's so lively oh my god i just like this kind of vibe so much Nightlife is just best, guys. I'm telling you, nightlife here is best. Rather than daylight and daytime, nightlife. You guys need to come. It's really best. Like every place here, it's like it's Pinterest worth. Like every each corner you see, each corner you see, it's like Pinterest five and. Five and five zero zero five. Somebody saw me and I just got. so conscious by vlogging but it doesn't matter every place you see it's like pinterest world and every corner is so beautiful i was just vlogging for myself and a lady just turned towards me and she was like oh she's vlogging that is so cute uh, it was nice of her that uh, she was kind of uh, encouraging and most of the people here uh, they are Encouraging, they they aren't like um, so anti-social because everyone here are almost so social. And this is how the Brigade Road looks like when it's all lit up. Let me show you. And and I 
got my mocktail here and by this I'll be ending the vlog and I hope you guys like